So let me give you a couple of examples then. How to answer four mark question, explain. So using your key phrases, this means that this leads to as a result. Let's have a look at this question. Explain two ways in which human activities can affect storm hydrographs. Well, a storm hydrograph is a graph which shows how quickly rainfall goes into the river. Okay, we want this process to be somewhat slow. Why? Because if it's fast, that's going to increase the risk of flooding. So if water goes from rain falling into the river very quickly, it's going to increase the risk of flooding. This time uh, between when the rain falls and when it gets into the rivers, this is called the lag time. Yep, if someone's lagging behind, they are behind. So how short or how long is the lag time? That's uh, what we are looking at. As geographers, we want the lag time to be as long as possible so it doesn't increase the risk of flooding. So explain two ways in which human activities can affect this lag time, storm hydrographs. Well, if we're talking about urbanization and building with materials such as concrete and tarmac, this is a impermeable material, yet water can't go through it. Therefore, water just runs off. This is called the surface runoff. So the surface runoff water increases. This increases the risk of flooding. This decreases the lag time. So the lag time is not long anymore. It's short because water goes boom straight into the rivers. Short lag time increases the risk of flooding. So something along the lines of this. Increased urbanization and the use of impermeable materials such as concrete can lead to an increase in surface runoff and thus shorter lag times. Another one could be deforestation. This affects the infiltration rates. Water passes through the soil at a faster rate, decreasing lag time. So the second one, let me explain that. If you cut down all your trees, water goes through the soil very quickly, much quicker than if you had roots and you had vegetation and you had life essentially in the soil. So when this deforestation occurs due to, let's say, urbanization, actually water passes through the soil at a faster rate, decreasing your lag time again. So this affects uh, your storm hydrograph. So two ways human activities can affect storms, hydrographs, urbanization, deforestation. Urbanization, I've developed it by saying um, use of impermeable material, leading to shorter lag time. Deforestation, I've said the infiltration rate of water passing through the soil is faster, decreasing lag time again. Right, let's give you another example. Suggest two factors which may have influenced the choice of site for the proposed International Advanced Manufacturing Park shown on figure six. I haven't shown you figure six here. However, um, I'm sure many of you would have come across this question before in the previous paper. So essentially what they're asking is why has this company or International Advanced Manufacturing Park, why have they proposed to choose these sites in particular for their manufacturing park? It's worth four marks, but you've got to give two factors. So you make your point and then you explain it, develop it, and you make another point and you develop it. So for example, it would be something along the lines of this. The cost of the site on the urban rural fringe, the border, uh, would be less than somewhere closer to the CBD. This means that it would be more profitable for the company to establish their business here. Another reason, the site location is next to a motorway. This means that employees, deliveries, trucks, and other large vehicles can easily access the site. Four marks, okay? A lot of you are becoming really, really good at this, making your point and developing it. Not waffling too much, not going on, not uh, going off the topic, sticking to it, making your point and telling me, ma making it obvious. So for example, if I said the cost of the site is cheaper, we all know why that's good, but you have to tell the examiner why you think it's good. So the business would be more profitable, for example. 
um, the site is next to a motorway. You can't just assume that the examiner is going to know why that's a good thing. You need to spell it out, make it obvious. It's next to a motorway. This means that employees, deliveries, trucks and other large vehicles can easily access the site. Okay, let's look at one more explain for marker. Explain why there is an increase in risk of coastal flooding on many UK coastlines. This is four marks, but it doesn't ask you to explain one reason or one way uh, there is an increase in risk. It just asks you explain why there is an increase in risk of coastal flooding on many UK coastlines. So I would, what I would do for this one, I would make one point and give three developed reasons for that point. Um, you could do one, two points, both developed, um, but if it's if there's enough enough um, content to develop your one point, do that. So I'm going to talk about climate change, okay? There's an increase in risk of coastal flooding in many UK coastlines because of climate change. Climate change um, increases the sea level. This increases the risk of extreme storms. Um, with extreme storms, there's also an increase of erosion and weathering of the coastlines. All of this contributes to an increased risk of flooding. So something along the lines of this. As a result of climate change, sea levels are rising and therefore there has been an increase in storms. This is not only in it's not this not only increases the direct risk of flooding on the coast but it also increases rates of erosion and weathering which further increase the flood risk or further increases the flood risk so my main point here is climate change and then I've developed that to say sea levels are rising, therefore an increase in storms. This is uh, not only is this in direct risk, but it also increases the rate of erosion and weathering, which further increases the flood risk. So I've got plenty of content there to score my four marks. And my one point is climate change. OK, guys, let's leave it at that. Mm -hmm.